You know, the gospel is not the message on how you need to live holy to bring a smile on the face of God. With one simple word we received What we had been born to believe when you came to us The gospel is not about you know how God wants to send people to hell, how the Father wants to destroy all people, and how man, Jesus Christ came to save man from the anger of an angry Father. God, you made us know. Now you see. When Jesus walked the earth, people didn't feel fear, they felt love. When Jesus walked the earth, people didn't feel fear. They felt love. The Jesus that's coming back is the very same Jesus that came the first time. He's not another Jesus that had a personality change in heaven. If the revelation you have is the revelation of how you've been braided into God, your whole body would be full of life. If the way you behold God and you behold salvation is flooded with works, the work you need to do to by the sweat of your brow earn salvation from God. It says your whole body will be full of darkness. You know what that implies? When you see a human seated at the right hand of the Father, you, when you see the Holy Spirit raising a man from the dead and that man goes and sits at the right hand of the Father and when you receive that very same Spirit, do you know what that implies? It implies that that Spirit shall raise your mortal body from the grave and you will so live with God forevermore. And I can start to share in God's quality of life, not by me deciding to love somebody, but by me finding the Almighty God and myself braided together, and I share in His thoughts, I share in His feelings, for He loves it in me. It's over me. How are you ever going to have that experience unless you can first believe that you have been braided into God through Christ.